This is a full body stretch. You can tag it onto any workout or do it on its own. Okay, let's stretch. Okay, we're gonna start with feet underneath the hips. Soften the knees, take the arms up and reach them to the sky. Fingers together, clasp them between each other, turn the palms up to the ceiling. Lift the arms up as you bend into the knees and gently pull the body out to the side. Just hold the stretch, really reach, keep the chest nice and open. Both parts of the chest should be facing forward. Good, just hold it and breathe. Nice big side stretch. Come back through the center, give yourself another little lift up and reach over to the opposite side. Again, just breathe and hold, really reaching over. Knees are soft, open chest and hold it. Good, and then reach up. We're gonna widen the feet a little bit, parallel those toes, open the arms, and gently reach the body forward. If you need to bend the knees, go for it. If your hamstrings are flexible enough, you can reach just with straight legs. Drop and hang out there for a second. Grab the back of the um, ankles if you want, or if that's too much, you can just drop the hands down, relax the head, and feel long in the spine. Let's just take a few breaths there. Just a big inhale and try and drop a little lower down on the exhale. One more time, big inhale, little lower on the exhale. Good, and then we're gonna turn towards one leg in that position and slide into a runner's lunge. So my heel is under my knee, I'm gonna stretch that back leg, and if you need to come on the tips of the fingers, go for it, you could use blocks if this is too much, too intense. My back foot is really reaching back and my chest is pulling forward. I'm just gonna hold the stretch here, really feel that back quad and hip lengthen out. Just breathe into it, stay there for a few more breaths. Good, and then I'm gonna twist forward and pull my toes to the sky as I flex my heel, open this knee. So just hold this, it's quite an intense side stretch, really opening out that inner thigh. And then we're gonna turn back towards the runner's lunge and then lift the foot towards you in the back, bring it closer in, stretch both knees if you can and drop the head forward. Again, you can use blocks here, tips of the fingers or hands down. Try and square off the hips, lengthen the legs. If you need to bend, go for it. If your hamstrings is too intense, you can bend the knees. And just take a few deep breaths. As you relax into the stretch, really lengthen the torso forward. Good, take a big inhale, and exhale down into it. We're gonna turn the toes to face your front, so gently walk yourself forward again. We're gonna hang over one more time. And this time we're gonna reach behind the back of the, the ankles and pull a little bit extra. So last time we held onto it, but we didn't really pull. If you have the flexibility, you can pull a little more in, give yourself a little more space. Again, you can hold bent knees if you need to. And then we're gonna to turn towards the other side and into a runner's lunge. Long chest, lengthen that heel in the back, really stay lifted and forward. Check that you're in a nice square position in front and just hold it. Take a big inhale and a big exhale. And then open out to me. Again, you're gonna slide onto that heel, toes up and take that inner thigh stretch. Just hold the stretcher, really intense inner thigh stretch, good. And then back towards the foot, runner's lunge. We're gonna bring that back foot in a little bit Put both legs straight if you can, or soft knees, and reach forward, squaring off the hips. So you want both hips facing the same direction. And let's hold it, gently stretch the chest towards the shin. Take an inhale and an exhale. Good, slide forward again one more time. That big forward fold with those toes facing forward. And then bend the knees. Roll up slowly, one vertebra at a time, nice and slow and controlled. And we're gonna come down onto one knee. Okay, one knee on the ground, one leg out to the side. The hand's gonna go right by the knee and we're gonna take a big side stretch. Open out that whole chest and that whole side body. Just hold and lengthen. Now, if you wanna go into a little bit more of a deeper stretch, you're gonna lift the leg and try and grab the toe behind you. Just keep a lot of weight on that outside hand for support. Really. Pull the leg back if you can. 
breathe into the stretch, good. And without flinging the leg, just reach it out. Push up, this outside leg is gonna cross the knee over the back knee, and we're gonna sit back into a pretzel, ease back. Now a lot of us have tight hips, so you're gonna be very careful here. You're either gonna to have to sit on the heel, or if you have the flexibility, you sit on both hips, you can walk the toes out. If this is enough stretch for you, stay there. If you need a little bit more, you can walk your body forward. So reach the chest over and just sit there. Okay, let's take a few deep breaths. Inhale and exhale, relax into those hips. Good, this is quite an intense stretch. Hold a lot of uh, tension in those hips and those glutes. So just relax into it. Good, one more inhale and exhale and come on up slowly. Let's do that all on the other side. So we're gonna come on those knees, extend the opposite leg out, hand onto the ground, take that big stretch over, really feel nice and long in that side body. Feels so good this one, hold it. And then if you wanna go into a deeper stretch, lift the leg, grab the toe behind you and pull it back. Good, just be very careful of the, of the lower back, be very mindful here. Good, nice big body stretch in the front. And then release it slowly. Good, come on up. Now that outside leg is the one that'll slide in front, knee to knee. The knees are kissing as we sit back and find your spot you can hold. Okay, so if you wanna go a little deeper, you can move the legs out. If this is good, hang out here. And we're gonna reach forward. Okay, let's take some breathing here. Just relax in. You can reach the arms. You can leave the arms on the feet. Big inhale and exhale. Good. Long chest inhale. Good, and exhale one more time. And inhale, and exhale. Good, okay, bring those legs in front. You can give them a little shake, shake, shake. That was pretty intense. We're gonna bend one leg up, and other leg is straight with the flex foot. The same arm that is with the bent knee is gonna reach up, and we're gonna reach it towards the opposite baby toe. So there's a slight twist here as we reach over the leg. So just take that nice big back stretch, a little bit of a hamstring stretch, and hold it. And then we'll switch on the other side. Extend the opposite leg, bend the other one, reach the arm up, twist towards the extended leg, cross over, drop the head, be nice and long in the torso and hold it. Good, and roll up slowly. Then we're gonna take a butterfly, knees are open, feet together. We'll just take a big forward stretch there for a second and roll up. And then I'm gonna put my hand to one side. I'm gonna take a big side stretch in the butterfly. Hold it, and then I'm gonna to round towards the opposite shin and drop the head. So my arm is reaching, so I get a little back stretch there as well. I'm gonna reverse my way up to go to the other side. Reach up and over. Good, and then twist towards that opposite shin, drop the head, reach that arm nice and far. Good, reverse your way out. And we're gonna stretch the neck, ear to shoulder. Gently take the same arm where you're reaching and gently tug on the neck. Keep the opposite arm pulling away. And other side, ear to shoulder. Grab over towards the ear, pull it gently away as the opposite side pulls down. Good, and then a nice big V, a nice big straddle. Comfortable straddle, whatever that means, and we're gonna reach up and over to one side. Feel really long in the torso. And then let's go to the other side. Reach up and over. Good, and come on up. And we're gonna walk forward, just take it easy. The stretch should be a good stretch, but you don't wanna pull anything. So find a spot that feels good for you, and we're gonna just hold it. Take an inhale, and an exhale. Good, gently walk yourself up, bring the feet together. We're gonna to do a double pretzel here. So my one leg is gonna bend underneath. My heel is gonna on my knee and my knee is gonna go on my heel. And then I'm just gonna reach forward. If this is enough for you, stay there. You can go all the way forward and let's just hold it. Take a few deep breaths there. Just find a comfortable spot where you can hold it. This is also another very intense hip and glute stretch and roll up and we're gonna repeat on the other side. So the opposite leg will come on top, heel and knee on the heel. And again, very square and reach forward. Lengthen forward and just hold it. You can drop the head, 
that feels good. Take an inhale and an exhale. Good and rolling up. Well, I hope you feel super stretched out and have a fabulous day. Cheers.